All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad, and uh, this hour we are going to be uh, practicing our reading and pronunciation. Uh, this is a class that is for beginning and intermediate students. Okay, We'll be going through four short stories. Um, in the, the short stories are, are shorter. Uh, we'll be reading between three and five sentences, uh, give or take, uh, and practicing our pronunciation on words, um, words or phrases that are difficult for you to pronounce. Okay, uh, I like doing these type of reading classes uh, because it forces you to, to uh, say words that you usually don't want to say because if you know that you don't pronounce things uh, a word correctly, uh, you are more than likely not going to say it. Okay, I was giving a, a private lesson uh, earlier today and uh, my student was wondering about uh, gerunds, okay? And, uh, and how to use them, uh, how to use them better, and whatnot. And uh, I said, "Well, I haven't really heard you use them incorrectly." She says, "Well, it's mainly because I know I can't use them, so I don't." So uh, that that's typical. It's typical. We we don't use words uh, that we know we can't pronounce well. All right, so uh, that's why I like doing these classes. It's uh, sometimes it forces you into pronouncing those words or trying to, and then I can help you with them so that you can become a little bit more confident with them. Okay, uh, so that's the uh, the plan for this hour. The uh, first story we're going to read is entitled "The The Care Club." Okay, uh, go ahead and open that. Okay, again, this is a class for beginning and intermediate students. All right, let's see who we have so far. Uh, Abel, welcome back. How you doing? Hello, teacher. I'm here. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, Farouk, welcome back. Hi, Chad. Uh, Hi there. Uh, I'd like to take your permission for uh, for the class. I'd like to give uh, the uh, computer to my daughter, to Marve. Uh, what's What's her name? Let me write it down. Merve. Mar Marga. Merve. Merve. Mer Merga. You no, know, Merve. Just Merve. Oh, Merve. Merve. You can just say Merve. Okay, Merve. Yeah. Got it. Okay. And uh, how old's Merve? Merve, how old are you? Um, I am ten years old. Yay! Ten years old. You know, I have I have a, a son, and he is nine years old. Nine years old? Yeah, he's he's nine years old. So you're one year older. Cool, huh? Yeah. Very cool. And what what grade are you in? Next year, I I will be fifth grade. You'll be in fifth grade. Oh yeah, yeah you're in summertime right now. You're on vacation. Yeah. Cool. All right. Are you excited for fifth grade? Yeah. Awesome. I remember my fifth grade teacher. Her name was Miss Baumhoff. Whew. That was a long time ago, though. All right. So uh, I'll be around you in one second. We'll get you reading, okay? Okay. All righty. Fausto, how you doing? Uh, well, teacher, and you? I'm doing very good. How was your weekend? I think that it was very demanding because I I worked uh, the yesterday I work uh -huh. uh, all day Whoa. so I yes, right now I am feeling so tired but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but well I think everything is okay and, and, and well that's our teacher <laughs> cool man cool yeah well I I'm almost in the same boat I worked yesterday morning but then I had the had time off and today. I've been working since about 2.30, so I don't really have a weekend. I take chunks of time off, but yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying, man. I hear what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. We have Julian. How are you? How's it going, chat? I'm doing well. Uh, Julian, uh, remind me, what country are you from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. How was your weekend? Uh, it was fine. It was fine. I was in, uh, with my family and uh -huh. just for fun. Uh, I'm here. Cool, man. Very cool. I'm happy to have you here. Okay, thanks, Chad. All right, let's see. Laszlo, welcome back. Hello, Chad. Nice to see you again. Good to see you as well. Um, and let's see. Selma, welcome back. Uh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> 
helmet and you change your picture again. And uh, are are you riding on a uh, on a child's toy in the picture here? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. And and how was your weekend, Selma? Well, actually, uh, right now I'm stuck up with uh, home chores. Uh, we have a lot of visitors. I need ah, okay. to clean the house every day. Oh, no, cleaning the house. <laughs> yes. That is not fun. All right. Well, I uh, hope you're able to... Uh, uh, Sit, uh, sit back and relax for a little bit at least. All right. Uh, very good. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get started, everybody. Um, the first story is in the chat box, so uh, please open that up. And this hour, I'm going to start over on the right hand side uh, with uh, with Selma. Okay. And this is our first story: the Care Club. All right, and uh, Salma, please read from Jennifer. Uh -huh. uh, let's see, Jennifer down to um, about four sentences. So, uh, respecting everybody club. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, okay, teacher. Uh, Jennifer and her and her twin sister, Katie, had heard is at this school how they should care for others. This gave them a great idea. Let's start a new club at school called the Care Club. Katie said, Care can stand for the can and respecting everybody club. Okay. Okay, good, good. Nice pronunciations here. Uh, I want to I want to practice the word caring. Instead of caring, it's care. Caring. Caring. Okay, good. One more time. Caring. Karen. All right, good. Now, uh, I want to work on your accent a little bit with the word school, okay? Uh, here you had said school, okay? And you mm -hmm. raised the tone at the very end, school, okay? So sit in on that ooh just a little bit, okay? And try to only pronounce that ooh. The word is school, okay? Nice and light, nice and light, okay? School. Uh, school. There, that's it. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, we're gonna say, um, let's start a new a new club at school. Nice and light. Just remember, light like a feather. Let's start a new club at school. Let's start a new club at school. That's it. Good. Okay. Good job. Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome. All righty. Let's go to Laszlo. Yes. All right, Laszlo. Please read from uh, Jennifer. Agreed. Okay, and I'll have you read down to um, a, a little girl uh, learn to read, please. Okay. Uh, Jennifer agreed it was a wonderful idea. Every night they planned what, what they would do the, uh, do the next day to show others they were loved. One day they suck up for a little boy on the playground who was big begging, begging uh, picked on by other kids. Uh, another day, they stayed after school to help the little girl learn to read. Okay, very good. Let's go to the word learn. Instead of learn, learn, the word is lur, learn. Learn, learn. Good, nice job. Okay. Uh, let's go to the word another. Okay, give another. me a good th. Another. Huh? There you go. Good. Nice job. Okay. Uh, this word here, instead of uh, 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 bang, it is be, being. 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 Okay, good. Nice job. Uh, next word here is stu, stuck. Stuck. Okay, one more time. Stuck. Stuck. Good. Nice job. Okay, let's go to um, they and the. Okay, so here we have the word they. They. Uh-huh. And the. 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 Okay, good. So, what they would do the next day. What they would do the next day. Okay, try that again. Give me good TH sounds. What they would do the next day. What they would do the, the next day. There you go. Good. 
Okay, last word here. We have the word Jennifer, okay, or the name Jennifer. Instead of Jennifer, 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 short I. Jennifer, Jennifer. Okay, all right, one more time. Instead of Jenny, Jennifer, Jenny. Okay, we're going to practice that mm -hmm. I sound, Jenny, Jennifer. Jen Jennifer. That's it, good. Okay, nice job. Thank you, Laszlo. Thank you, teacher. All righty, let's go to my next reader. Uh, this is uh, Julian. Yeah. Okay, Julian, uh, please read from On the Weekend. Okay, and let me have you read till uh, join, uh, join the club, please. Okay. On the, on the weekend, they walked a neighbor's dog and even gave the dog a good bath. Katie and Jennifer's parents didn't know what had gotten into their girls. They loved helping others and they were having so much fun doing it as well. Before too long, the other kids at the school would begin, begin to, to join the club. Okay. All right. Very good. Now, uh, this word, instead of being began, this is begging. Begging. Okay. Began. Is, is spelled like this. Okay, that would be began there in the chat box. That's began. Begging. Begging. Okay? Begging. Yeah, so please, please, please let me join. Okay, that is to beg. Okay, that's okay. right. All right, so please let me join the club. That is begging. Began is to start. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Good. Let's go to... Um, let's see, the other, okay, so, uh, right here, this is, um, the other, give me good TH sounds, the other. The other. Good, one more time, the other. The other. Nice job, that's great. Okay, let's go to, uh, loved, okay, with an ED ending, loved. Loved. All right, okay, so, let's talk about the D sound, okay, D, loved. Okay, the D feels like a, a, the uh, the R sound. Okay, in your language, d d. Okay, so let's try this. We're gonna say d d d. D d. Okay, yeah. good. All right. Okay, so let's try this. That we want our tongue to go straight up and down. Loved. Try that. Loved. Loved. Good. Good. That's it. One more time. Loved. Loved. Good, okay? That's how the D feels, okay? okay. Um, now, let's go to um, the word uh, walked, okay? Right up here. This is another ED ending, but because it ends with a K, that ED now changes to a T sound. Here, this is a V, so it it's, uh, feels like a, a D sound, okay? We have three different ED endings. This is number two here, okay? So this word is walked. Walked. Good. Nice job. One more time. Walked. Walked. Excellent. Okay. Uh, now, uh, after this, we have neighbors. Okay. The GH here is silent. Nay. Neighbors. Neighbors. Okay. Instead of saying boar, this is er, burrs. Neighbors. Neighbors. There you go. Good. Okay, uh, last, wor last word is the word bath, with a T-H at the end, bath. Bath. Good, nice job. All right, thank you very okay, much, Leon. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh, good, let's go to my next reader. Okay, Fausto. All right, Fausto, what is the trick with the W words? Okay, I think that uh, maybe you can say something like, using you yes use the ooh okay so starting off with the u sound okay so we have uh, we have here uh, we have weekly weekly we have where okay we have wood okay wood is here a couple of times okay and we have uh, week Okay, so, uh, and wanted. I'm going to have you finish this off since uh, uh, ending it would only leave us with one extra sentence, okay? So, watch your W's, okay, and watch your Y sounds. And we don't have too many Y's here, okay? Watch them, okay? All right, concentration, and let's have you roll, okay? So, I think we're here on so, okay?
Okay, go ahead and uh, and finish this off for me, please. Okay. Um, so, Kathy and Jennifer opened the club up to new members. Everyone had to promise to show love to others. They had weekly meetings where they planned how they would help and how they would do it. Everyone pitched in some money each week so they could buy flowers for sick people or a card to cheer them up. Before long, everyone had heard of the care club and everyone wanted to join. Okay, good job, man. Okay, <sighs> good job with the W's. Okay, okay that sounded you. good. Okay, now uh, the trick is now, when uh, when we were talking at the beginning of class, um, you had said that you were working all working all weekend weekend long. Okay, so when you're speaking, remember that rule. Okay, when you come to words like working and weekend weekend, okay, use that ooh sound. Okay, great job on your reading. Nice job. Okay, let's take a look at some words we can practice. Okay. Okay. Um, this word here, this is cheer. Give me a good R sound. Cheer. Cheer. Good, nice job. Okay, next word. Um, yes, good job with the uh, the ooh at the beginning, but after that ooh on wood, we go to an uh sound. So instead of saying wood, it is ooh, wood. Good. Okay, almost start off with the ooh, wood. Wood. Good, okay, nice job. Okay, uh, let's talk about that D. Remember, ed. Okay, that ed. that that R sound. So this T in this word, you tried to switch that to a D sound, but you used this Spanish D saying meetings. Okay? The D in English is a hard D sound. So this word is mead, meetings. Think of that like the, the R, the Spanish R sound, mead, meetings. Try that. Meetings. Good. One more time. Mead, meetings. Meetings. Okay? Think of that like the beginning of mirar. Okay, mead, meetings. One more time. Okay, meetings. Okay, good. Nice, nice D sound there. Okay, good. Okay, uh, one last, uh, one last word. We're gonna practice the th sound. Okay, this is of, others, others. Okay, others. Okay, one more time. Others. Others. Okay, here you're using a a, a D saying ud, others. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to stick your tongue between your teeth. Okay, this is similar to uh, to uh, the like saying gracias, but we want to pronounce a uh, a uh, voiced sound. So we want to feel a vibration here. Th okay, and the tongue is between our teeth. Th others. Try that. Okay, teacher. Other. Yes, that's it. Okay, one more time. Others or other. Okay, others. Okay, good. Nice job, man. Okay, okay excellent. Thank you. All right. Okay, you guys, let's go to our next story. And Merva, uh, I'll have you read, please. Uh, this one is entitled Happy Birthday. Okay. Or Happy Birthday, America. Um, the link is in the chat box. Go ahead and open that up. Yes. Okay, I'll put it in uh, the Google chat as well. And let me see here. Very good. Okay, Merva, let me have you read from It Was Fourth of July. Okay, and I'm going to have you read down to uh, down to America the Beautiful. Okay? Okay. Go ahead. It was July 4th, Independence Day, and Jeremiah was so excited. He wanted to scream, but he didn't. Jeremy the cup caught no, and he needed to add more up. He was so excited because today he was marching in his very first parade. They marched right behind the high school band, which played God Bless America and America the Beautiful. Okay, very good job. Let's uh, let's practice some words together. Are you ready? Yeah. 
Okay, first word here, look here up on the screen. This is beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. There you go, nice job. Okay, next word here is the word uh, parade. Okay, so the stress is at the end of the word. Okay, parade. Parade. Good, one more time, parade. Parade. Excellent, okay. Now, here's a tricky word. We have the V sound, all right? Ooh, the V, okay? Remember, put your teeth on top of your lip. We say v very. Very. Good, one more time. Give me a vibration there. V very. Very. Good, nice job. Okay, let's go to the word now. Instead of no, this word is pronounced now. Now. Excellent. Now, uh, the the trick here, okay, in the chat box I wrote a word. It has a K at the beginning. When it has a K at the beginning, that word is pronounced no. Okay, no. I, I know what you're talking about. This word is now with an ow sound. So that's the difference, okay? Okay. Okay, next word right here. This word is pronounced scow, scout. Scout. Good, one more time, scout. Scout. Very good. Okay, this word here, we have an ed ending. Okay, this is pronounced wanted. Wanted. Good, one more time, wanted. Wanted. Good, okay, and this is a name here. The name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Good. One more time. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Awesome. Very good job. Nice job, Merva. Thank you. All right. And Merva, what, what's the other language that, uh, that you know how to speak? Um, Turkish. Turkish. Awesome. So you're going to be bilingual. Thank you. Very, very cool. All right. Uh, let's go to my next reader. This is Abel. Yes. All right, Abel, uh, please read from uh, behind them, okay, behind them, and I'll have you read down to uh, American flags, okay? Okay. Behind them, there, behind them were the Girl Scouts, and then came the clowns. They were floats, cars, and fire trucks, and the last one in the parade were the horses. It was all it was all so exciting and Jeremiah got to throw candy to all the children who were watching the parade. After the parade, Jeremiah helped the scouts in the neighborhood to line all the streets with American flags. There you go. Nice job. Good job with your R sounds, T H's here. Uh, your E D endings were good. Okay. Uh, I wanna check out um, uh, we have two phrases here. Okay, this one here, this is, there were floats. So give me an air sound here. There were floats. Try that. There were floats. There you go. Okay. And uh, here, this is, were the horses. Were. Were the horses. Were the horses. Good. Good. Nice job. Uh, everything else was great. Really good pronunciations, Abel. Very Thank good you. job. Mm-hmm. All right, so we ended with American flags. Uh, let me go to my next reader. Uh, this is uh, back to the top. Selma, let me have you continue, please. Here where it says he loved, uh, he loved the flag. Uh -huh. um, let me have you read down to, um, let's see. Yep, uh, with his family, please. Uh -huh. Okay, sure. Uh, he loved the flag. It made him feel proud and gushy inside. It was his flag, and many had fought and died for it. Now that he was a scout, he could he could even salute it. He put up the flag, took a step by, back, and gave a salute to old glory. The rest of the afternoon was spent at the park with his family. Okay, nice job. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's work on the word family. Okay, so um, that I right before the ly, we want to cut that out. 
Okay, and we say family, family. Uh, family. Good. All right. So let's practice that in the sentence. We're gonna say, um, uh, at the park with his family. At the park with his family. Uh, at the park with his family. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay. Uh, let's go to the words. Uh, salute it. All right. So. <clears throat> Um, when we have a word that ends with a T or a T sound, okay, the E here is silent, okay, so it ends mm -hmm. with the T sound, then the following word is a is the word it, okay? We can change this T to a D sound. So normally, I would have to say salute and pronounce that T, but when the word it follows it, we can change that T to a D sound and say salute it, salute it. It salute it. Try that. Uh, salute it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So he could even salute it. He could even salute it. He could even salute, salute it. There you go. Good. Good. Yeah. So that's a that's a rule that we can use there, guys. So if the word ends with a T sound and the following word is the word it, we can change that T on the the. Uh, 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 a previous word to a D sound. Okay. Uh, last word I want to practice with you, Selma, is the word gushy. Instead of gu, gushy, gu, gushy. Gushy. There you go. Okay, one more time. Gushy. Gushy. Excellent. Okay, nice job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All righty. Let me go to my next reader. This is Laszlo. Yes. Laszlo, please uh, uh, let me have you finish up this story here. This is, uh, uh, please read from They Ate Corn Dogs. Okay. okay. Uh, down to um, Happy Birthday, America. Okay. Okay. The, they, they eat corn dogs, cotton candy, and many other fun foods. Jeremiah did some walk climbing with friends and rode on rides at the fair. When I got dark, Jeremiah, his family, and the rest of the people in the town sat down to watch the amazing fireworks light, light up the sky. It was an amazing night, wonderful night to say happy birthday to America. Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to the word wonderful. Okay, wonderful. instead of wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. Good, nice job. Okay, uh, let's go to the word when it got dark. Instead of when I got dark, when it, when it got dark. When, when it got, got dark. Good, one more time. When it got dark. When it got dark. Excellent, okay. Uh, let's go to the word climbing. The B here is silent. The word is climb, climbing. Climbing. Okay, excellent job. Now, um, uh, class, I want I want to point out this word. Now, last though, you pronounced it correctly. You said cotton. All right. And class, there's two ways to pronounce this word. Okay, you can pronounce the T's and say cotton, or okay, um, the other way. All right, we do not pronounce this with a with a D sound. The word would not be cotton. Okay, we cannot pronounce this that way because if a word ends with an O N, okay, so let me write this in. O N I N A I N E N. Okay, if it ends with that, we cannot pronounce the double T as a D. What we can do is pronounce the, the double T as a silent T. We say cotton. Instead of cotton, we say cotton, cotton candy. Uh, give that a try, Laszlo. The word is cotton, cotton candy. Cotton candy. Yep, just like that. We go right to that N sound, cotton. Okay? Good. Uh, nice job, Laszlo. Very good. Thank you, teacher. All right, you guys. Uh, let's go to our next. Next story. This word is uh, saving the worms. Or sorry, yeah, this one is saving. Um, uh, the story is in the chat box right now. Please open that up. 
And my next reader is Julian. Yeah. All right, Julian, let me have you continue. Uh, read from uh, one, one Day Mike. And I'll have you go until uh, the end of this paragraph. That's four sentences. So one day down to the end here, please. Okay. One day Mike and his friend Jack were thinking about going fishing at the lake. Mike was excited and said to Jack, We are going to need to dig, uh, I don't know, how, some worms to put uh, on our fishing poles. What can we use the worms that are, that are not real? Asked Jack. Real worms, worms work better to, better to get the fish to go on your fishing pole, said Mike. Okay, very good. All right, so uh, let's take a look here at the word asked. Okay, now um, instead of saying asked, you guys, okay, this word is pronounced asked. Okay, so we skip over the K, asked. and we go right to the T sound, asked, like that, asked. Try that, please. Asked. Okay, so let's try this. We're going to say, asked Jack, asked Jack. Asked Jack. Good. Okay, just like that. Nice. Okay, um, this word here, you would pronounce it as we, we can't we. Okay, the word is why, why can't we. Try that. Why, why can't. Okay, good. All right, let's practice the word dig. Instead of dig with an E sound, D, it is D, dig. Thick, thick. Okay, one more time, dig. Dig. Okay, good. All right, so um, let's, uh, let's take a look here. So um, let's go through the difference between the K sound and the G sound, all right? Because right now what you are pronouncing is curse word okay dick okay it's very soft okay but you're pronouncing a K sound saying dick dick okay the G the G sounds like this just like in Spanish you say goal g -g goal right right okay so at the it's at the end of the word now it's dig dig dick dick dig okay there that's it dig dig Okay, good. One more time. Dig. Dig. Good. Okay, so let's let's try it in the sentence, okay? It's nice and slow. Nice and slow, okay? So, going to need to dig some worms. Going to need to dig some worms. Worms. Okay, one more time. Nice and slow. Going to need to pause. Okay, right there. Going to need to dig some worms going to need to dig some worms good okay now um, you can uh, you can practice words like uh, like dig jog hog hag hug uh, and bug I put uh, I put uh, a bunch of words in there for you Okay, um, that you can practice pronouncing that G at the end of the word. Okay, okay. Um, now um, of those, none of them, none of them can be bad. Okay, except for um, uh, dig. Okay, if you if you don't pronounce that dig and, and it comes out like a K. Okay, someone might be like, "What? What'd you call me?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, so be careful with it. Now. I tell you that because I have made similar mistakes. Okay, um, being there close to uh, to Argentina, all right. Um, there's a word there in Argentina that's really bad, but it's close to the word cancha, right? Cancha de fútbol. And I wanted to go play uh, uh, football with some friends, but instead of using the word cancha, I used the word co, all right? And I had said concha, right? And <laughs> just even mentioning the word, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, just even mentioning the word, the whole group of Argentines that I was with turned around and said, what did you say? <laughs> and so I was like, okay, so I've that. made similar mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so don't worry about it. Yeah, practice those words so you can pronounce that G sound, okay? Okay, thanks, Chef. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, very good. Let's go to 
Uh, Fausto, you are up next. Abgay. All right, man. Let me have you read. Uh, let's see. Backyard. Two, three, four. Um, yeah, let me have that. That's four sentences. So read this next paragraph for me, please. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> All night, Jack was not too happy about digging up the worms in his backyard. You see, Jack loved worms and had loved to watch them inch their way across his yard. He even used worm to scare his little sister Becky. The best part was they felt so slimy. Okay, nice job. All right, now this last word here. This is going to be a long I sound. So instead of slimy, it is sly, slimy. It's slimy. Okay, all right. Instead of saying eh, slimy, take off that eh. Okay, focus on the S, slimy. Slimy. There you go, nice job. Okay, mm -hmm. let's practice the words little sister. Instead of little sister, it is li, little sister. Short I sounds. Go for it. Little sister. There you go. One more time. Little sister. Little sister. Good. Nice. Okay, let's practice the V sound. Okay. Eve. Even. Even. There. That's the V. Okay. Good job. Okay. Um, uh, last word here is the word you. Instead of ju, the word is e u you. You. There you go. Good. And again, we had was, worms, worms, watch, worms again, and was. Okay. All your w W's are sounding great as well as way. Okay. Really good job with the W's. Keep focusing on those OO sounds and you'll slide right into those words and they'll sound great. Okay. Very good okay. job. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Cool. Uh, Merva, are you ready? Yes. Okay, good. Let me have you read from Jack Was Afraid um, down to... All right, you get the whole paragraph. Okay, go ahead. So Jack Was Afraid down to Help Yourself, please. Okay. Jack was afraid to tell Mike that he really loved worms and that he did not want to dig them up to put them on a fishing pole. He felt sorry for the worms and wanted them to live as long as they could. Jack thought to himself, would Mike make fun of me for not using the live worms for fishing? Jack Dad had some fake worms in the garage. And Jack went inside to ask him if he could use them. Sure, said, said that. Help yourself. Okay, excellent job. Okay, I want to take a look at three words is all. Okay, really good pronunciations this time, Merva. Okay, um, first up we have the word garage. Garage. Okay, so our, our, our stress is here at the end. Okay, garage. One more time. Garage. Good. Now, you had pronounced it garage. Okay. Um, in in uh, England, okay, or in the UK, okay, they pronounce it garage. All right. But in the United States, we say garage. Okay. Cool. It's the same word, but the stress is at the end. Okay. Okay. Okay, next word. Okay, and this is a confusing one. Okay, uh, this would be live worms. Okay, we would say live because it's in the adjective position and it's describing the worms. Okay, so instead of live worms, this is live, live worms. Please repeat that. Live. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Okay, uh, next, uh, next word is the word the. All right, so uh, give me a good TH sound here. We want that vibration, the, the, the worms. Try that, please. The, the worms. 
the, the good, good. Try the worms. Yeah, the worms. Okay, good. All right, thank you, Merva. Everything else sounded really good. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, very good. Let's go to Abel. Okay. All right, uh, please read this next paragraph. The next day, Mike came over early to Jack's house ready to go fishing. Did you dig the worms? Asked Mike. Jack said, no, but I have fake worms for us to use. Fake worms? Cried Mike. We won't catch any fish with fake worms. Why didn't you dig it? Why didn't you dig them up? Asked Mike. Jack decided to tell Mike the truth. I don't want to see them eaten up by the fish. I want them to live. Okay, nice job. All right. Um, so we're going to practice shortening some words, okay? Uh, first up, okay, uh, the word them. Uh, them we, we can uh, shorten more often times than not. Okay, so here, for example, I don't want to see them eaten up by the fish. So instead of saying see them, switch that to see them. See them eaten up by the fish. Try that. I don't want to see them eaten up by the fish. There you go. Good. Let's do the same thing here. Dig them. Why didn't you dig them up? Why didn't you dig them up? Good. One more time. Why didn't you dig them up? Why didn't you dig them up? Okay. Now here we, we're also going to say ch. Why didn't you? Why didn't you dig them up? Why didn't you dig them up? There you go. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, and we do that a lot, especially with them. Okay. Nice job. Um, last one I want to work on is the word you. Okay, um, so here at the very beginning you had said ju. Okay, remember eu, you. Try that. Du, du, du uh -huh. worms. Did instead of did, did you? It is did, did you? Did you? Good. Yeah. Did you dig the worms? Okay. Good. Nice job. All right, thank you, Avel. Uh, let's go to Selma. Uh -huh. And Selma, let me have you uh, finish off this uh, this story, please. Uh, read the last paragraph. Um, uh, Mike was surprised that Jack cared so much about worms. Okay, okay, he said, we will just have to see how lucky we are with fake worms. The boys were very lucky because they each caught three fish that day at the lake. I guess fake worms would be just as well as real worms, said Mike. Yes, agreed, Jack. Thanks, thanks, Mike. You are a real friend. Okay, nice job. <clears throat> uh, let's practice the GR sound. So instead of agreed, okay, agur, agreed. Try that, agreed. Agreed. There you go. Nice job. Okay. Now, uh, here you were you were saying worms. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the uh, the reason why we would not say that is because we have another word uh, that is w a w a r, and that is pronounced warm. Okay. Mm -hmm. When it's an o r, we actually pronounce that were. Okay. So this word is actually worms. Worms. Mm -hmm. One more time. Worms. Worms. Good. And the, the other one that is A-R, that's the one that we pronounced warm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Kind of tricky, but that's that's how we pronounce it. All right? Okay. <laughs> okay? Yeah, I know. We're crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, next, next word is the word three. Okay? Give me a good R sound here instead of three. Thur. Three. Three. There you go. Good. So um, each caught three fish. Each caught three fish. There you go. Nice job. Much better with your R sound here and on agree. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Mm, thank you. 
All right, you guys, let's go to our, our last, uh, last story here. It's uh, entitled The Rainy Day. I'll put the links in the chat boxes. Or sorry, the link in the chat boxes. Go ahead and open that up. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, my uh, next reader is Laszlo. Yes. And Laszlo, let me have you read from Todd was so excited. And I'll have you read down to um, uh, won't be able to fly my kite, please. Okay. Todd was so excited to try out his new kite. Kite. <coughs> He got for his birthday. He waited all week. Fin finally, Saturday came. Todd wake, wake up early and heard noises on the roof. Suddenly, the noises got louder, louder, and Todd heard thunder and saw lighter, lighting. <clears throat> oh no! Cried Todd. Now I won't uh, be able to fly my kite. Okay, very good. Now, this last word here is pronounced with a long I sound. The word is kite. Kite. Okay, excellent job. Okay, um, next word here is won't. Okay, the word is wo, won't. Won't. Okay, all right, instead of want with an ah sound, let's use an o. Wo, won't. 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 Good, nice job. Uh, next word, this is lightning. Okay, instead lightning. of lightning, lightning. Lightning. Good. Okay, let's practice the TH on thunder. So this word thunder. is thunder. thunder. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay. Uh, this here would be louder. Instead of load, low, louder, lou, louder. Louder. Very good. All right. Uh, here you had said wake up early. This this word is woke. woke. Whoa, woke. Up. woke. Woke up. Excellent. Yep. Woke up. Okay. Um, and let's see here. Let's go to the word birthday. Right above that, instead of birth, birthday, it is bur birthday. 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 Good. All right. Thank you, Laszlo. Thank you, Chet. Alrighty, let's see here. Next up is Julian. Yeah. Okay, Julian, please read <clears throat> from uh, Todd ran to the window. Uh, finished off this paragraph, and I'll have you read till uh, in a very long time, please. Okay. Todd and uh, Todd told his mother. Mom Todd told uh, told Todd to call a friend and they could play some of that board games in the closet. Um, hold on one second. Uh, up a little ah. bit higher. So yeah, you yeah, see yeah. where... Sorry, sorry. Okay. Yep, no worries. Go ahead. <laughs> that ran to the window in hopes of seeing the heavy rain starting to stop. However, it started, started to rain even, even harder. Well, I guess I won't be flying my kite today. Tad told his mother. Mom taught Tad to call a friend and they could play some of Tad's board games in the closet that he hasn't played with in a very long time. Okay, nice job. Okay, let's go to the word closet. Instead of closet, clo, it's claw, closet. Closet. Mm -hmm, nice job. Okay, uh, now here you had said board games. Uh, stressing the word games. This word, uh, these two words together are pronounced board games. Bop, bop. Board games. Try that. Board games. Good. Nice job. Okay. Um, next up is the word mother. Okay. TH sound here. Moth. Mother. Mother. Good. Much better with the TH. Nice job. Okay. Uh, next word here. Uh, we have however. Give me a good V sound. However. However. Good. All right. Now I want to compare two words together. Okay. Ran and rain. Okay. This is long A. Ray. Rain. This is the A ah sound. This is 
Ra. Rain. Ran. Try those two. Rain. Run. There. That's it. Good. Nice job. Okay. okay Very good. And Thank you. Is, and what is the difference of uh, of board and bore? Uh, bore without the uh, without the D. Yeah. Yeah. I I type you. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah. So board with the with the D. Okay. This this here is a board. Uh, give me one second. Okay, board with a D. All right, so you can say chalkboard. Um, you could say a uh, like a chalkboard here to write on. That would be a board. Okay, board games. Like if you were to play checkers or chess. Okay, this would be a board game. Okay, mm -hmm. a piece of wood. A piece of wood that would be called a board. Okay, what she is on? She's on a surf board. Okay, those yeah. are all boards. Okay, those are all uh, boards. You have what's called a circuit board. Okay, that's a circuit board. All right. Now more, uh, the the other board, more modern board. Like a uh, say that again. Modern board. Yeah, like a computer. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Good. Now the other one. This is the animal, a boar. Okay, it has the tusks on it, like this. This here is a yeah. boar. You, you see that? So yeah. the other one with uh, with the b o r b o a r without an uh, an r or a d at the end. That is uh, an animal boar. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's right. Thanks, Jet. Good. Nice question. Okay. Uh, good. Let's uh, let's see you guys. Got about five minutes left or so. Let's go to Fausto. All right, yes. Fausto, let me have you uh, read from uh, Todd Thought. Okay, uh, finish the paragraph, and I'll have you read till, um, let's see, answer it. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Mm. Todd Thought, it was a great idea. He called his two best buddy, Kyle and William. William had a dentist appointment, but Kyle said he would be over in about an hour. Tooth went upstairs and found his checkers game and his Monopoly game. Monopoly was his favorite. He loved buying all the hotels on the game board. Tooth heard the doorbell ring and ran to answer it. Kyle was there at last. Kyle okay, Weisberg. very good. Yep. Okay, yeah, okay. Just, just till there. No worries. All right, thank you. All right, let's let's uh, let's take a look here. Uh, first up, we have the word heard. Okay, we're going to focus on ending with a D sound. Okay, let's try that out. Okay, we're going to say heard. Heard. Okay, move your tongue back. All right, so you're not pronouncing the Spanish D and saying heard. All right, it is heard like the Spanish R. Heard. Try that. How, okay, hard. No, hard. Okay, much. You're, you're closer. The other one was a little bit closer. Okay, so um, force your tongue back. You want it to go straight up and down, like saying duh, heard. Okay, heard. There you go. Good. Okay, one more time. Heard. Heard. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's try. It. Let's try it on board. Board. Okay. Bored. Yes, that's it. Okay, let's try it on. Loved. Give me that D. Loved. Loved. Good. Okay, that's the D sound. Okay, that's the D. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go to the word hotels. Okay, the stress is at the end of the word. Okay, this is hotels. Hotels. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, one last word. Uh, this word is pronounced thought, if I can find it. Uh, thought, right here. So instead of thought, it is an ah sound. Thaw, thought. Okay, thought. Okay, uh, take out the oo. Instead of saying, 
instead of saying thought, it is tha, thought. Thought. Okay, good. Nice job. Okay, thank okay. you. You're welcome, teacher. All right, let's go to Merva. All right, Merva, can you hear me okay? Yes. There we go. Okay, Merva, let me have you read from Kyle was very wet. All right, and I'll have you read down to uh, became brighter. Down to here, okay, became brighter. Please read that. I didn't see it. Right okay, here. can you can you see here on uh, on the uh, web page? Yes. Okay. Do you see where it says Kyle was very wet? Kyle was wet. Um, no, I. Okay. Go to the very last paragraph. Do you see the last paragraph where it says Mom made lunch? Yes. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is go up two lines, okay, where it says, but he didn't. Yes. Okay, go all the way to the right, okay, where there's a, uh, another sentence that starts out, he said. Do you see that? He said. He said he wanted. Um. Okay, so are you on the line? Are you on the line that says, but he didn't? Yes. Okay. Go go to the beginning of that yes, sentence. Yes, I, okay, so if you go, there you go. So Kyle was very wet. Go ahead and read that. And, and I, I'll tell you when to stop reading, okay? Um, he said he wanted... He said he wanted... Uh, yes, yeah, so... Uh, Okay, go ahead and read from there. That'll be fine. Okay, he said he wanted. Okay, go ahead. He said he wanted to make sure they had enough games to keep them busy on this rain, rainy day. Mom made lunch for the boys and they went back to playing their games. Around 2 o'clock, the rain had stopped. Todd went to the window and looked out. The room became brighter. The sun was starting to shine and there was enough wine to fly Todd's new kite. Okay, yeah. just till there. Good, good. Okay, so uh, now when we talk about the okay, we call that wind. Okay, that's pronounced wind. Wind. Okay, good. Yes, there's enough wind to fly the kite. Okay, let's try out this word here. The word is pronounced starting, star, starting. Starting. Good, nice job. Okay, uh, let's go uh, up one line. And this word is pronounced stopped with a T ending, stopped. Try that. Stopped. Good. Okay, one more time. That word is stopped. Stopped. Excellent. Okay. And then I want to practice the uh, TH sound in the word them. Okay. So give me a vibration. We say them busy. To keep them busy. To keep them busy. Okay. One more time. To keep them busy. To keep them busy. There you go. Good. Okay. Nice job. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, and let's go to Abel. And Abel, let me have you uh, finish off our story, please. Starting okay. at let's go back out. Let's go Let's go out back and give my kite a try, said Todd. That's a great idea, said Kyle. The two boys went outside and ran, and ran with the kite. Suddenly, the wind picked it up and sailed it high into the sky. Into the sky. They took turns controlling the kite. It was four o'clock and time for Carl to go home. The boys, the boys said they had a great rainy day. Not only did they play some fun board games, but also Kyle learned a lesson that if you are patient, things will turn out just fine. Wow, said Kyle to his mom. 
The kite sure can fly. Okay, nice job. Let's uh, take a look here at some words. Uh, so this is going to be a long A sound. The word is patient instead of patient. Pay, patient. Patient. Okay, good. Now, uh, when we uh, are talking about board games and the, and the two words are together, okay, we stress the word board instead of games. You had said fun board games. This would be fun board games. Fun board games. Good, nice job. And uh, the last one I want to practice is the word controlling. Okay, so our stress is right here in the middle of the word. Okay, controlling. Hi guys, welcome to controlling. Good. All right. Nice job. Okay, you guys. Um, thank you for thank you for coming into class this uh, this hour. Um, I know Martin has a has another class that's starting up. Uh, so if you are interested in uh, going over to his class, I'm sure he'd be happy to see you. Okay. Thank you guys very much. We'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Bye. Teacher. Okay. Bye. bye. bye.